All right, is it recording? It is recording. Hopefully these levels are all right. What's happening on YouTube? I've, I've been craving going out and doing some street photography again, but I'm working on another project just now which requires me to set up a little bit of a studio. And I just bought this little um, recording device thing so that I can have a microphone here and hopefully get slightly better audio quality. So I'm making a test video which, so I'm just going to edit some street photos that I took in New York a couple of weeks ago and uh, this will be my test for this new microphone and my fulfillment of actually making a YouTube video this week. Alright, starting with this photo, this was one of the first photos I took in New York actually, we are just like getting off the train and I was just like eagerly snapping pictures and on the off chance we went through this really cool sort of escalator tunnel place. So the first thing I would do to it is just crop it a little bit and make this um, make the lights and I mean I was off center here as you can see but at least the lights will be in the middle so I'll get it as close as I can then I might just bump up the exposure to just a little bit about a quarter stop and to start with I'm just going to lift the shadows a little bit and the blacks a little bit as well it's going to get darkened back down when we start playing around in the tone curve so I'll drop a point in the middle and I'm just going to get this point here and pull it down make everything kind of dark again and then here I'm just going to pull it up slightly to brighten those highlighted areas. And I'm actually going to grab a brush here and just hit the light in. Actually, just reset that and bring up the highlights and the whites a little bit. Just reduce the size and then just brush over these like tops of people's heads here. That's without the brush and that's with the brush. Just kind of makes them pop out a little bit. I'm not too worried about going outside of this outside of this area here. It's not really affecting it that much, but can always just delete any that's in there. All right, that should do it for that part. I'll go down into the saturation just to try and, I mean, there's not a lot of other colors in here, but just I want to try and like bring out those oranges. So I'm going to desaturate everything else a little bit and then maybe just add a little bit of saturation to the oranges. Under hue, I'm not gonna mess around too much with this, I just wanna change the two or three of the colors. So I'm gonna bring the aquas down a little bit. Maybe not as much aqua in there as I thought. And it's more in the blues, so just bring the blues down slightly. Give it a little bit more of an orange and teal kind of uh, tone to it. Not much though, because you can really go overboard with it. And same with the purples, I'm gonna bring the purples back towards the blue side. And that's where it is, up in this area here. Um, where the lights are, you can see it really changes it to a more bluish tone. I like that much better, so I'm just going to leave that down towards the blues a little. Right, under split toning, I want to just add a little bit of warmth into the highlights. So I'll just maybe add about 35 there. Just a little bit of saturation, barely even enough to notice. And actually, I'm just going to make it even less obvious by switching the balance over. All right, sharpening, mask it off to about there. So only the areas in white are going to be ma are going to be uh, sharpened, and you know what? Actually, I'm just going to leave the sharpening there. Uh, I'm going to skip over transform. We don't need any vignettes, and I'm not going to mess with the calibration. Bump a little bit more contrast into there. Mess around with these highlights more. I'm actually just going to add a touch of saturation, which seems counterintuitive. All right, that's it for that photo. Let's see if we are still we're still recording sound, so that's a bonus. And apparently, we're still recording videos, so. <laughs> Things are working out, so my, lap my laptop is making some noise right now, so I'm like freaking out that something's going to crash, but let's crack on. Alright, next photo is, this was like just walking down the street, we'd just arrived again, I was dragging like my carry-on suitcase behind me, and I was just taking photos like from the waist with my thumb, and just kind of hoping for the best. And these people were walking past us, the guys were in a cowboy's jacket, so not exactly a particularly New York looking person. But the rest of the scene was super New York. We've got the like 99 cents pizza in the back. This woman looks super cool with her like with her reflective sunglasses. I noticed later on that he was he definitely caught me shooting that picture somehow because he's like side eyeing me there. You know he he knows what I'm up to. All right, so for this photo, I'm just gonna hit previous and sort of keep that same basic edit going. I want to reset the crop though because I think it's fine as it is. I'm a little bit annoyed that I cut off. He's, he's both their feet at the ankles, uh, which is really not good usually, but overall I still like the colors, I like the feel of this whole scene. So I'm gonna start this one by just adding a little bit of warmth into the photo, maybe not that much actually, just a little touch. 
I'm gonna bring down the tint about zero. I'm gonna reset this contrast, it might be a little too contrasty for me. I'll just bump up the exposure a little bit, see how that is, we might come back to that. All right, I'm gonna drop the highlights, and leave the shadows up, maybe about plus 15. I'm gonna drop the whites down slightly as well. Blacks, might just have that about, yeah, there we go, plus 14. I'm gonna mess around with the tone curve here, see if I like it better another way. This is a lot more than I would normally do with a tone curve, but I quite like how it's coming out just now. I'm gonna leave it about there, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna actually move these reds towards the orange side. I'm gonna also move the oranges towards the yellows in this. I'm gonna dial back the, all these reds in the picture. The yellows, I'm also gonna to move towards the green side just slightly. I'm gonna move this aquas down a little bit more. It's actually not affecting much at all. Put the blues at about minus 10. I'm gonna bring the magentas Leave magentas about where they were. I'm uh, gonna leave the split tone as it was. I will think I'll just leave the sharpening right about there as well. And I think I might call that one done. That was before and that was after. Yep, I think that one looks pretty good. I'm gonna move on. All right, this one on its own was not a very good photo. Again, I was just like shooting from the hip, walking up the street. But I think in black and white, this one's gonna be pretty cool. So let's do the acro. Try that actually with Adobe Monochrome. I think I just like the Adobe one. I'll just leave it on that just now. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a brush and I'm gonna darken her face. I, want her to, I wanted her to be more of a silhouette. So this might look a little bit unrealistic. There's nothing wrong with just like messing around with your photos a little bit and seeing what you can come up with. Now what I wanna do is darken up her face a little bit. Um, I wanted her to be more of a silhouette. So I'm gonna start with a darkened brush. I'm just gonna paint over her face like that. And then also maybe her hands. And just drop the exposure of that down, drop those shadows down. It looks extremely unrealistic at this point. Let's keep editing and see if we can make it look a bit more like it's supposed to look like that. Okay, drop the highlights a wee touch. I'll lift the shadows a touch as well. Lift the blacks up a little bit and I'm going to drop the whites down a tiny bit. All right, tone curve. Put one in the middle there and then just drop the dark areas down a bit more. Yeah, it already looks a little bit more like she could actually be a real silhouette. Put another one in there. Just lift those highlights slightly. Keep that about the center. Looking not too bad there. I want to straighten the picture up. It doesn't look, this like line, this line here uh, looks really squint. So we'll straighten that up. Right about there looks good. All right, black and white mix. Let's just mess around in here. Nothing much. Keep that a little darker. Keep the yellows up so there's plenty of contrast there. Nothing happening with the green, nothing happening there, nothing happening with the blues. There's a little bit of purple in about here. And we'll leave it maybe a little brighter because if there's a highlight on our sleeve, nothing much with the magentas. Do we have blue? There is blue in our sleeve as well, so we'll leave the blues up slightly. All right, so we're not going to use split tone in here. We can mask it so it sharpens a little bit less of the picture. I guess that looks pretty good there. And I'm just going to leave it at 40. Lightroom sharpens apparently not very good, so I don't mess with it too much. And then everything else there, I think we can leave alone. Let's see what the white balance does here. Brightens or darkens the whole thing. Let's just bring up the temperature, which doesn't actually add any temperature into the picture because it's black and white, but it sort of just like overall brightens up certain areas of it. I don't know why it brightens certain areas. I guess it brightens up the areas that are more warmer colors because this all the background here would have been all yellow. But anyways, I think it looks pretty good at that. So there we go. That was three of my favorite photos from my little trip recently to New York City. And I think that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the pictures. Let me know whatever. Uh, we still rec we're still recording. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Cheers. I can't reach it from here. I usually do the thing. I usually do the hand thing. Yeah.